Hi, my name is Doug Swift from Enzo Martial Arts. Today I thought I'd give you a bit of a breakdown on the Chinese wooden broadswords that we sell, or the red oak broadswords that we sell, um, that people would mainly use for Tai Chi or Kung Fu. So these are the uh, wooden broadswords that we sell in in the shop here, used mainly in Kung Fu and Tai Chi, like the Chinese, the Chinese styles. Um, used. Someone explained to me once that these were more of a like a kind of peasant or a farmer type weapon. Um, I don't know if that's true, but there is there is a bit more of a uh, kind of simple approach to these. It's, it feels like a kind of hack and hack and slash type weapon rather than the kind of refined elegance of the of the straight swords like the gin. Um, so yeah, please comment if you disagree, that's absolutely fine. Um, but yeah, it's it feels much more like a hacking and slashing weapon. One that you can you can do lots of spins with. There's there's no nothing that really feels like a jab with it. It's much more slashing sort of a like a slash and burn approach. So yeah, that's 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 most of the techniques that your that your practice with these will be striking, slashing, kind of hacking kind of approaches. A lot of this kind of stuff. What you find with these, they do vary slightly, um, and the way they're built varies slightly. But um, usually, wooden broadswords should pretty much match like the, its metal version. So usually, they're slightly shorter. I mean, this one's pretty much bang on with the uh, with the aluminium broadsword that we sell, and then the the Wushu broadswords. Again, it's pretty much bang on, slightly slightly shorter than the Wushu ones. Let's have a look at the the measurement so you, you can really get an, get an idea of what you're buying. So I've got my tape measure here. So overall, you're looking about 33 inches, about 85 centimeters total. And the blades about 63 or just over two foot, 25 inches, sort of 63, 64 centimeters. So that's that's the type of dimensions that you want. These really are a kung fu weapon. You mainly see like the broadsword in kung fu styles. Now in in styles like Shaolin or Wushu, people really would just start with the with the kind of flexible Wushu broadswords. Um, these would mostly be used in in like the southern styles of kung fu, the more arguably, very arguably, um, the more traditional sort of styles, Lao Ga, Hung, Hung Kien, um, stuff like that from, from more down south. You also get a lot of people using these for Tai Chi, um, especially recently we've had more people buying these for Tai Chi. Um, really good for balance, actually really good for like carrying around because they're quite nice and light, not too, not too heavy that some of the metal broadswords can be. So, um, which which suits suits a lot of Tai Chi practitioners. So these these are made entirely of red oak, and they've for effect they've got the grooves down the back of the blade, which I mean obviously you don't need, but but it looks nice, um, good shape. Now these are actually made from three pieces of of oak. So the handle which fits in with the with the main blade, and then you get the guard which is fitted over the top. What this, what this means is, as you don't have one solid piece of wood, is that it's not as strong as, as you might expect or it might, might feel. And it's certainly not as strong as, say, like the Japanese red oak bokken. I wouldn't recommend to use these for partner practice at all. I wouldn't recommend to like hit anything or practice striking because I just don't think the joint here is up to it. These are made or designed much more for solo work, like practicing your forms and drills. And, and that's what I'd use them for. So yeah, there we have it. That's that's the sword. That's the the Chinese broadsword. You're um, brilliant to start training with. Really good to get get used to it. Um, and obviously a much cheaper option than going straight onto a metal sword. So yeah, great weapon. Really good fun to train with it. You get to learn loads more forms and uh, really get get your arms working, your shoulder moving. So yeah, I thoroughly recommend these. And um, yeah, pop in the shop or or have a look online and, and view the products online. Um, also, don't forget to subscribe to your channel. I hope this video has been useful and we'll hopefully see you soon. Cheers, thanks.